ಲಾ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಭರವಸೆಯ ಬೆಳಕು ಹಾಯ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ನಮ್ಮ ಲಾ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ರಿಟೇಲ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಐ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸೋ ಲುಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ರಿಟೇಲ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟ್ರೆಸರಿ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಓಪನ್ ದ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮನಿ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಓಕೆ because it is a related topic we'll just discuss the basics for that particular topic so the news is recently rbi has decided to introduce a mobile app it has launched a mobile app of its rbi retail direct scheme which is aimed at facilitating seamless investment in direct securities by the retail investors okay uh, we'll see what is retail direct scheme and what is this app uh, like in the syllabus it comes under gs3 economy it is very important because every year you are going to see certain questions related to rba in your prelims so it becomes very important from both prelims and mains perspective and then just because we are dealing with the uh, economy i have selected a practice question a previous year question for you do write the answer in your comment box consider the following statements the rbi manages and serves government of india services government of india securities but not any state government securities statement 2 treasury bills are issued by the government of india and there are no treasury bills issued by the state governments treasury bills offer are issued at the discount from the par value par value so uh, options are 1 and 2 only 3 only 2 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 only do write your answer in the comment box okay if you want explanation for this question do write in the comment i will try to discuss in the coming videos so moving on to the main topic so what is the retail direct scheme okay news is rbi has launched the app okay mobile app to involve in the rds scheme so what is retail direct scheme was it was actually rolled out in november 2021 it gave access to individual investors to maintain a gilt accounts with the rbi and invest in the government securities okay previously individuals individuals or retailers were not allowed to invest in the gilted securities present but now they are allowed to invest what happened in the previous was if you are an individual or a retail investor you had to bypass a intermediary gilted securities we had to bypass an intermediary who are the intermediaries for example mutual funds mutual funds is an intermediary if you are a particular individuals there will be many individuals they will first invest in the mutual funds the mutual funds will then invest in the government securities and what are the profit they are gaining it will be again taken by mutual funds and then share it to the investors but now this intermediary has been taken off now individual can directly invest in the government securities so under this app the investors can buy central and state government bonds as well as the treasury bills okay bonds as well as treasury bills we will learn what is bonds and what are treasury bills in the late uh, coming video and it enables the investors to buy securities in the primary auction as well as buy or sell securities through negotiated dealing system order matching system on the platform itself and then a gilt account can be compared with the bank account except the account is debited or credited to the treasury bills or government securities instead of money what they are trying to say here is so normally how does the bank work this is the bank these are a individual and there will be another investor okay any industry so what happens is you are going to deposit okay you are going to deposit and bank is going to keep this money and they are going to lend like rent or lend it okay sorry lend it to industries okay they are going to lend it to industries so here there will be interest percent certain percent if you are 
depositing 100 rupees there will be 10 percent interest and then if the government is like rbi is bank is lending it to industries they will lend it at 100 rupees with a 20 percent interest okay the 10 percent margin is the profit for the bank okay this is how normal bank works but here the gilted account is gilted account is instead of the banks the individual will be trading the government securities okay so government securities instead of receiving the monies the person will be trading with the government securities that is what they are trying to say here okay except that the account is debited or created with the treasury bills or government securities instead of the money okay so this is the retail investment scheme in gist then we will learn what is treasury bills okay so treasury bills are the promissory notes promissory notes issued by the rbi on behalf of who the government as a short term liability and sold to banks and to the public okay it is a promissory notes issued by the rbi on behalf of government and the maturity period ranges from 14 to 364 days okay 14 to 365 days they are negotiable instruments meaning they are freely transferable they can be transferred from one individual to another individuals and no interest is paid on such bills but they are issued at a discount on their face value what does this mean okay normally what happens is this in the bank you deposit 100 rupees and bank will provide you a deposit 10 percent interest and what you get is 110 rupees whereas in government securities government securities the security rate of the security will be price of the security will be 100 rupees here individual will instead of paying 100 rupees he will instead of okay this is g security if it is 100 rupees instead of paying 100 rupees he will pay 90 rupees okay he will pay 90 rupees only and that is discounted value at the par and then what he receives is 100 rupees okay that is instead of paying the interest instead of paying the interest they are paid at discounted value okay this is important okay these are nego like uh, new interest is paid on such but they are issued at a discount on the face value the face value if the face value is 100 rupees they will be sold at 90 rupees and what you get is 100 rupees this is 10 rupees is your profit here so okay before moving to the topic let us discuss okay let us discuss markets in india what do you mean by markets so in markets we will deal with money market and capital market okay in simple term money market is the maturity period will be less than 365 days okay whereas capital it will be more than 365 days so the investment period is more in capital market it is less in money market examples for money market are government securities okay such as t bills the treasury bills again no interest but at the discounted face value they will be 14 198 191 and 364 days so these are three terms of uh, treasury bills like uh, three types of uh, treasury bills which are available for investment whereas in capital market it will be bonds okay this is the difference between securities and bonds the difference is the term of maturity it will be less than 365 days it will be more than 365 days so the what you get out of this the profit here is less because it will be lesser term whereas the profit here is high because the term here will be more but the risk here will be less because of short term but the risk here will be more higher the risk higher the profit as the saying goes so this is the short term of examples in g securities also like in money market other examples are call money market notice money commercial bills etc etc These some examples of money market whereas in capital market bonds debentures shares stocks etc etc so this is some basics about money market that is money and capital market and treasury bills comes under money market so in a retail direct scheme where we are going to invest here is we are going to invest in money market in treasury bills okay 
hope things is clear now moving to the main topic so how does this thing work okay under the rated uh, investment scheme small investors can buy or sell government securities or bonds directly without an intermediary or like mutual fund i said like initially we had to invest through a intermediary such as mutual fund to invest in g securities but now this intermediary is removed and now we can invest directly in the g securities however the same tax rules apply to income from the g securities this is considered as one of the drawbacks okay because since it is a retail or individuals the tax rate should have been reduced that is the criticism of this move and then the minimum amount is 10000s and the multiples of 10000s whereas the maximum amount is 2 crore 2 crore and then payments may be made through net banking or upay okay these are some trivial uh, things about this one information how can individuals access the g security offer this first you have to open a retail direct gilt account directly within the rbi they can do through an online portal set up for the purpose there is an online portal where you have to open a retail direct gilt account once the account is activated password will be generated after that you can start trading in g securities okay and then we will understand what is the benefits of this scheme what is the benefits of rds with the government being the borrower there is a sovereign guard guarantee for the funds and hence zero risk as a default because g securities are guaranteed by the governor government sorry guaranteed by the government it has to pay pay you back so it is a guaranteed income sovereign guarantee so the risk here is very less okay risk here is very less whereas in other share markets if you are going to invest in a particular company okay if you are investing in a particular company the profits depends upon the company's finances how the company is uh, performing in the market how the company shares are involving how the company shares are modifying your profit also changes here so the risk here is high whereas here the risk here is less because the government has to pay you back that is the advantages and also government securities offer a better interest rates than the bank fixed deposits you mean it is not the better interest rates here the rated par value or discounted rate will be more higher compared to the bank fixed deposits depending on the prevailing interest rates see if you are going to invest in the banks the interest rate for the, if you are investing in here for 5 years if the interest rate is 10% so the profit will be 10% only whereas in g security by the uh, uh, in g securities the interest should be higher than the deposit rates so it is considered as a better alternative because even the risk is less but the profit is more so it is a better option compared to bank deposits so bank deposits and it will also help in economy how it is going to help in economy whatever the amount you are going to invest in g securities g securities it will be used by the government used by the government where for various reasons such as infrastructure social welfare and other various schemes so it is one way you are helping the government in building the finances as well as you are helping yourself to get a risk free and high returns okay so this is the intended benefit of the uh, retail investment schemes uh, so hopefully the topic is clear for you if you have any more doubts if you have any queries about this particular topic do write in the comment box do answer the questions which i am uh, showing you in the initial of the video uh, if you have any doubts do write in the comment also do like subscribe and share the videos so that it can reach maximum number of people and also it can help in the algorithms of youtube so if you have any more topics to be discussed in the coming videos do write in the comment box so thank you thank you one and all